Hi gang, welcome back to Crazy Life Homestead. We're still here with chickens and the horses. Let me get this gate open. It's become a little difficult because the stick broke. I have to go get something to replace that. Hold on. So as you can see from behind me over here, this is uh, the new rooster from the Spring Babies. Um, he hasn't, I keep checking, but he hasn't done anything to attack. Hi, pretty face. Look at that pretty face. Huh? Hasn't done anything to attack. They come back every day, and I'll show you when we get there. Um, there's like four hens and him, and they been eating the horse feed. I've been putting a little out on the side for them so that the, they won't bother the horses. It's mainly those white longhorns, uh, leghorns, sorry, leghorns, that um, get into the pans and push the horses off their feet. And that, can't be having that. Especially with this one back here. She needs her feet. That's the 31 year old horse. Let me get these guys fed and we'll continue on. So like I said, these guys are just waiting to get fed. There's three hens. There's probably a fourth one around here somewhere. There she is right there. So let me get them fed and then it'll stop just it'll distract them long enough to um, feed the horses. Isn't he a pretty bird? He's such a pretty bird. So as for the feed that we're throwing the horses, they're doing just fine. Uh, Missy over here is she's doing her thing. She's doing fine for 31 years old. And uh the, the uh, chickens are doing fine and eventually they'll get what the horses spill out over here and all the horses do it but these are the spring chickens I hope they haven't become my little flock as you can see she's the daredevil but they don't get too close the horses let them know by lifting a hoof uh, not like that but <laughs> they'll let them know and there's five hens out here today, which is about right. The little brown hens, they just, they love to peck their feed. They're beautiful birds, especially him. He just, he's rocking it. He's rocking that rooster thing. As for the other two, they're doing just fine. I can't get any closer because Duke won't let me. But they're fine. They get the same amount of food as she does. The only difference is, is that Leilani is not getting any of the uh, cubes because uh, I gotta get the farrier here again. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six that ends out here today. Um, I, her feet are. They are cracking, and that's what the horses are supposed to be doing. If they were in the wild, the, the hooves would crack off, and everything would be fine. Mr. Duke is being bothered by a fly, probably one of the big horse flies. Um, but like I said, you'll see the hens come up, and then they, they flutter off because... Ooh, there's one of those big flies. Because they, um, they annoy the horses. Nobody's been injured. You can see that little hen trying to get into his pan. They're very skittish. So, the horses will get most of it, and then the, the chickens will clean up after them. These two behind Duke. are just looking for bugs. You see they're scratching and tilling and looking for their bugs. Which is great. Great in the sense that they keep the fly population controlled. Not down, I mean, but it's controlled. You only do so much for them, so. Uh, we're gonna head home. Actually, let me go check the water first. Come on, Missy, let's go. 
Um, I'm still working on her. Little Missy back here, wherever she is. She's, um, her skin is still bothering her. She's still dragging herself across the ground. I'm still working on that. Uh, let's see, what else? Let's get you updated. No house yet. I'm working on it. I've been working on it. Getting sick of working on it. It seems to be our turn, so, you know, keep your fingers crossed. Maybe it'll be our turn this time. I don't know. So, as for the water, we had rain yesterday morning. And of course, Leilani's been playing in the trough. So, I'm still spilling from the big green trough. Where are you? There you are. From the big green trough to the black one right here. With the bucket on the... So, other than that, there's really nothing to report. Uh, let me see if I can get this dog in the car and... She needs a bath. She needs a, she needs another spa day is what she needs. Um, but she's she's doing fine. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the girls were traumatized by Mr. Mighty over here, Evil Chicken, along with myself. And um, the uh, uh, bug just doesn't want to come. She doesn't want to be here. She doesn't want to get in the car. She wants to see her horses, but she doesn't want to get the effort into doing all of this stuff. But Technology. I'm telling you, it's a pain in the butt. I thought that I had an ending for this video, but apparently I didn't. So, we're taking the dogs for a quick walk around the house. And, uh... Bye, squirt! I, um... I want to thank you guys for coming along on all of this. And seeing the updates and everything else. It's been... It's been weird. It's been a long journey. A weird journey. But you guys are supportive, and I wanted to say thank you. Uh, I am walking. I'm not even paying attention to my dogs. It's pretty bad. Anyway. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for following along. And sticking with me. And stick around. There's... Hopefully going to be something happening. I'm trying to do my dangdest to get some action and get some attention and see if we can get a house. Um, I may be seeing a couple of them tomorrow. Uh, there was one in Ashland City, Tennessee, and then there was another one in Franklin, Kentucky. Uh, about the same distance from work and all that kind of stuff. So, um, plain squirrel. Dogs are. But anyway, you guys, thank again. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and we'll catch you on the next one.